In this problem, we have an infinite series, and we have to determine if it converges or diverges. So whenever you're determining convergence or divergence of infinite series, one of the tests that's really good to apply is what's called the nth term test. And you can almost do it mentally. Basically, you look at this piece here, and you take the limit as n goes to infinity. If you don't get 0, then the series diverges. If you get 0, then no information. So let's try it. Let's take the limit as n goes to infinity of that piece there, of the arctangent of n. So if we get 0, the test fails. This is called the nth term test. If we don't get 0, then we know it diverges. So in order to do this problem, you should be familiar with the graph of arctan. So if you look at arctan x, this is what the graph looks like. So it's just something that's worth memorizing. So it actually has two horizontal asymptotes. This one is pi over 2. And this one over here is negative pi over 2. And it looks something like this. So you see that as n goes to infinity, or in this case x, the y value gets closer and closer to pi over 2. So the limit here is equal to pi over 2. And that is not equal to 0. So therefore, our series diverges. So diverges. It's important to write it all out. By the... And the test is called the nth term test. So nth term test. It's important to realize that this test can only be used for divergence. Some textbooks call this the nth term test for divergence because people often um, use it incorrectly. So basically, if you get take a limit and it's not equal to 0, then it diverges. Again, if we get 0, then the test fails and we can't really say anything. Okay, We can't say it converges. So it's only when you get not equal to 0 that you can say it diverges. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.